Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery Series. And in this week's episode, I want to talk to you a little bit about the different modes of productivity that we go through each day. Now, for those of you who've taken my online, my free online course, The Beginner's Guide to Developing Your Own COD System, up there if you haven't, you will know that the, the COD system stands for Collect, Organize and Do. Now, throughout the day, we are going into different modes and that would be collecting, organizing and doing. But there are times throughout the day, there are times throughout the week, there are times that suddenly occur where we go into a big crisis. Or, as it happens, you might be sent on a business trip where you don't have access to your normal tools of work. Now, in that particular situation, particularly when there's a crisis going on, you need to switch into what I call collection mode. You stop worrying about the doing and the organizing and just focus on dealing with the crisis. Now, while you're dealing with the crisis or while you're on your business trip, really the only thing you can do is go into collection mode. And that means that you're collecting and just not worrying about the organizing and doing because you will have time later to organize what you collected and start doing the work that needs doing. Likewise, if you have a lot of time at the end of the day where you feel like you have to, that you haven't really got anything left to do or you're just feeling absolutely exhausted, your creative energy has disappeared, which does happen, then go into organize mode. Organizing shouldn't need a lot of brain power. It's just about looking at the tasks you've collected and moving them into the rightful place, whether that's a project, an area of focus or whatever it is that you have or however way you have your system set up. And of course, the biggest mode, the mode that you should be defaulting to is the mode of doing, doing the work, because when you default to doing, you will actually get a lot more work done. Now, the reason I'm talking to you about this is a couple, uh, last weekend I actually spent, uh, we went over to the east coast of Korea for a driving trip and we drove around the east coast and into the countryside and it was just a fantastic thing. Now, what I noticed in the car is there is different driving modes. Now, we were using an SUV um, or a four-wheel drive as we call them in the UK and in the four-wheel drive there is certain driving modes. There is comfort mode, economy mode, sport mode and dynamic mode. So there was four different modes. Now it was difficult for me to decide which mode to use. Now generally speaking when I was driving around a city or when I was driving around a countryside which had a lot of S-bends I was using comfort mode. But equally when I was on the expressway or motorway I used economy mode because I don't need sudden acceleration on an expressway or motorway. I just need to be able to drive in the most economic, economic way. And that got me thinking about the way that we deal with productivity. And it is true, we go into different modes. So the default mode in the car was uh, comfort mode. And I was thinking, well, the default mode that I'm in most of the time throughout the day is doing mode. That's what I want to be doing, spending all my time in doing. But there are circumstances when I need to go into collection mode. I just like there are circumstances where I probably would need uh, my off-road mode, if you like, when I'm in a wet, muddy field, for example, it's no point in me driving in comfort mode or, or economy mode. I need to be in dynamic mode, which gives me the best four-wheel drive ability the car has. And the same would apply for us when we're working. When we're in work, when a crisis happens, what's the best mode to use when we're in a crisis? Well, the best mode is go into collection mode because that gives you means that you're still collecting everything that really matters to you but at the same time you don't want to be worrying about organizing it and doing because you need to deal with the crisis and what I found with a lot of my coaching clients for example is when they go on business trip their whole routine is destroyed they're out of the way they go and have meetings all day and then at night time they have to go out and have dinner with the clients or with their co-workers and when they get back to their hotel, it's usually very late at night, they're exhausted. You don't want to be going into an organizing mode or trying to do whatever you need to do. It's just far better to say, OK, I can do. I've collected everything that matters today. I can organize it on the plane going back home or I can organize it on the train or I can organize it this weekend or next Friday afternoon. So what you need to be thinking about, well, if you want to get greater productivity is think about what mode you want to be in and you get to choose the mode you're in. Now, as I say, the default mode should be 
doing, the D part of COD, do the work, because that's really the, the crunch end of getting work done and becoming more productive. But also there are going to be times when you have plenty of time. You're having a relaxing afternoon. Maybe the, the internet's gone down or something like that. Well, then you can go into organization mode and just organize the stuff that you've collected. And you can pick and choose which mode to be in. So really that's something that if you ever find yourself in a crisis or you're rushing out on a business trip or you've got a day where it's back to back meetings and you're just not going to have time to do much of your regular work or even do spend time organizing then just relax don't worry about it as long as you are collecting all the stuff that matters you can make a decision on that later and do the work later and that's the key part of this is always think about what mode you are in default mode is doing but also you need to be aware that from time to time you need to go into collection mode and of course you also occasionally need to go into organization mode or organizing mode. Okay, hopefully that's giving you a little bit more clarity about how we do our work because we are definitely work moving in from mode to mode to mode. And as long as you're very aware of that and you're comfortable in whatever mode you're in and basically you choose the mode that best suits the circumstances you're in at that moment, then you will be absolutely fine with your productivity. Remember, we all have more time than we generally think in the day. And as long as we're aware of what we're doing and what needs doing generally speaking you can keep the overwhelm and the stress well away from yourself okay thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video now if you want to take your productivity to a higher level then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete comprehensive productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.